Hi, this is Mike Green. We get a lot of email from people who have problems getting phrases to sound the way they should. Here's an example we got today. Our friend's goal is to sing, If You Feel Lonely. So he typed in, E, few, feel, loan, lee. If you feel lonely. Sounds great. I probably would have used if you for the beginning, but I think his way of having few sounds better. So this is perfect. But for him, it wasn't sounding how he wanted it to. So he sent me his MIDI file. Let's take a look. Okay, there are two problems here. These are both problems that we see all the time. So I'm doing this in a video because I think this will be really helpful for a lot of other people too. The first problem is he's not in phrase legato mode. If you're playing phrases, you need to be in phrase legato mode, at least if you want it to sound good. You could turn phrase legato off and the syllables will still advance. If you feel lonely. But that doesn't sound as good. Plus, you're going to have problems if you try to engage vowel legato in the middle of the phrase. Just trust me on this. Turn on the phrase legato switch. And go ahead and put in the G sharp phrase legato key switch into your sequence. Now, let's listen to this MIDI file. If you feel lonely. Okay, here's the second problem. When you're in vowel or phrase legato mode, you need to make the notes overlap. The notes will still play and the syllables will still advance, but you won't be getting the legato transitions, which is what makes things sound smooth. So let's look at the first two notes. I'll just extend the first note. Now we have overlap. If you... See how much better that sounds? Now, this legato process triggers some extra samples, which is why it sounds smooth like that, but those extra samples do delay the second note a little. So we might want to slide the second note a little earlier so it stays in sync. If you... Cool. Now, let's do the same thing for the overlap into the third note. If you feel... Sounds good. But as we go into the fourth note, we have a problem. We want the third and fourth notes to overlap, but they can't because they're the same note. So how can we do this? Well, here's where we use the repeat key. If we play a note on this B key, it repeats whatever the last note was. If you feel lonely, if you feel lonely. So in our MIDI file here, we can drag this note down to this B note, which is the repeat key, so it will play the same A note as the note before it. And of course, we want to have overlap so it sounds smooth. If you feel long. Sounds good, right? Now, I know it can seem weird that this B repeat key, way down here, is really playing an A note way up here. So if that bothers you visually, here's a trick you can do. Go ahead and make a copy of the note back up here. Then mute it. So the repeat key will still be the one that gets played, but you can see visually what the melody is actually doing. If you feel okay, now here's one last thing that our friend wants to do with this melody. He wants these two notes to stay on the O sound, so he wants to go into vowel legato for just these notes. So we put an F sharp key switch right here, which triggers vowel legato mode, then put a G-sharp key switch right here, so it will go into phrase legato mode. And of course, we make it so that the notes overlap. Let's check it out. If you feel lonely. By golly, it worked. And now, let's see what the contact interface looks like as this plays. You'll notice that the legato switches change automatically as the key switches get played. So I hope that helps explain how to make the phrases work. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos that show some other tricks for Realivox Blue. And of course our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Realitone. Thanks for watching.